we have basically seen a steady growth post-COVID um, the past summer. And actually the summer months in India are not the peak summer. The peak is really uh, between October and December. And we've seen actually a very healthy development. Um, today, uh, we're actually breaking pretty much almost every day new records when it comes to traffic. And we expect that for the months, if not years ahead, to continue like that. No one is immune uh, for some of these supply chain issues, uh, neither are we. Actually, we have a very significant fleet. We operate a little over 300 aircraft. Uh, so yes, we have these supply chain issues on the engine side. And um, the good news though for Indigo is that we do have a very significant order book. We have around 500 aircraft uh, on order, which are going to be delivered between today and the end of the decade. Uh, and against that, that backdrop, we have a permanent influx of capacity for us, which is a good thing. So next to that, we have taken some mitigating measures in terms of extending leases in order to live up to our capacity guidance. Well, the, the <coughs> sustainability objectives for us are obviously very, very strong. We have reduced already a lot in emissions. I think it's a number of 16 to 17 percent of reduction, which we have achieved over the past years. Uh, clearly, fleet renewal is a very important aspect of that. We were recently named again as all the airlines in the world with more than 100 aircraft. We are operating the youngest fleet. Clearly, that helps a lot. In addition to that, we have taken a whole range of initiatives to reduce weight, optimize operations, go for electrification on the ground. So all these is initiatives have been done also. When it comes to SAF, of course, we work closely with the suppliers and with the manufacturers and indeed with the Indian government uh, to find a way to increase the availability of SAF. Well, Indigo has, has uh, also uh, joined that initiative, so we're part of that, that initiative. Like pretty much every airline in the world, uh, we wish to have a more, um, a more balanced um, in the senior management when it comes to diversity. Having said that, we're very proud that we have the world's highest number of female pilots. We have a percentage as high as almost 15%, one five. I think the global average is probably six, seven, and we do 15, which is really a fantastic number. Um, we do have actually a lot of programs, even on the engineering side, to get uh, female engineers back into the workforce, even after maternity leave. So we have actually launched a whole range of initiatives to get these numbers up. But it's not something you fix on the short term, it's a long-term trajectory. Uh, but with, with basis, the basis position we're having on the cabin crew side, we have a very strong philosophy of girl power, uh, which is really helping um, these females to, to make the next step in, in their careers and their lives. So I think our basis is good and strong but we have to do and we can and we should do more going forward.